Hey there, as most of you probably know by now, I absolutely love cooking. So I thought it would be fun to show you all of my all-time favorite Amazon kitchen items. These items are all very affordable and they will make your life in the kitchen a little bit easier. So I hope you enjoy it and let's go get started. We're beginning today with these under the sink kitchen organizers and I am all for anything to try to keep me a little bit more organized. These are kind of like stackable bins and I typically like to keep anything that I would normally put under the kitchen sink on these stackable bins. So like cleaning sprays and supplies. I do wanna let you know all of the products that we're using in today's video. I have them linked in my description box below this video if you wanna purchase anything yourself. And the cool thing about these is if you don't wanna keep them under your kitchen sink, you could always keep them under your bathroom sink or in your pantry. Now let's go ahead into my pantry. I am going to show you my all-time favorite way to organize cans. I have always wanted some of these can racks, but I've always been hesitant to buy them. Once we moved into this new house, I finally bought them. Anyways, I have three can racks total. Each can rack holds about 36 cans. I have the bronze color. I think it's really pretty, but I like to keep a lot of different canned items on hand, like canned beans, veggies, and tomatoes and this is a great way to save space and it organizes your cans perfectly just so you know what you have on hand. Now we have my avocado slicer and this has to be one of the funniest looking kitchen gadgets. I just think it is so goofy looking but it is so useful. It has one side that you could just cut the avocado open so perfectly like this. And then once you get that avocado open, this avocado slicer, it has a section right here where all you have to do is hit the avocado pit with it and it takes that out really, really nicely. And then of course it slices your avocado into to beautiful slices. If you've seen any of my cooking videos, you know that we are huge pasta fans in my house. So once I discovered this clip to the pot strainer, it has been a total game changer for me. It has two clips on the side that you just clip to your pot and then you bring it over to your sink once you have your pasta cooked and you just strain that liquid out. It is amazing. You could also do this with cooked beans or steamed vegetables. Here's another strainer for you. This is an over the sink strainer and I have used it in so many of my cooking videos. I really like this one because as you see, it folds down very small. So this is great if you don't have a ton of cabinet space, but after your pasta is through cooking, all you have to do is bring it over to your sink and pour it over that strainer. I also like to use my over the sink strainer to clean off different veggies and fruits or to sort through and and clean beans. Now we have my trusty meat chopper and I use this thing almost daily. I don't have one, but I actually have two of them. I love them that much. And I have the OXO brand. I've found that the OXO brand chops the meat the best. That's just my opinion. This is a really great set of cutting boards. It comes in a pack of three and I like the different sizes. So it has a really small size that's just great for smaller veggies and then a medium size and a large size. I do like how they're plastic so they are dishwasher safe and it does kill the bacteria. They also have rubber on the bottom so they don't slip. Now for my hardworking glass bowls. I have had this set of glass bowls since Will and I got married, so it is pretty old. And as you probably could tell, a few of those glass bowls have broken over the years, so I don't have the complete set anymore, but these are great to mix different items in. They're microwave safe and dishwasher safe, so they're really easy to clean and to cook in, and they just look really nice. 
Now we have my new kitchen utensil set and I've only had it for about three months now, but I use it all the time and this definitely has to be my all-time favorite kitchen utensil set. I love how it is silicone so you don't have to worry about anything scratching your pots and pans. That's a really big deal for me because nobody likes scratched pots and pans. Also, everything's very easy to clean and they I do have like the turquoise color, but it does come in different colors. Also, all of these different pieces are very essential for me in my kitchen, so nothing really is unused. Now we have my Instant Pot. I know people go either way with the Instant Pot. They either love it and use it every single day or people are scared to buy one. But for me, I do love my Instant Pot. I don't quite use it every single day, but I use it about three to four times a week, I'd say. I really enjoy cooking rice in it and boiling chicken in it for shredded chicken. Those are probably the two main things that I do use my Instant Pot for. I also like steaming veggies in it. Now to go off of steaming veggies in the Instant Pot, I have this steamer basket right here and this thing might not look like much, but it really does do a great job at helping your veggies steam evenly in the Instant Pot. None of your veggies will get mushy. Also, you could put potatoes in it to make mashed potatoes. That's probably my favorite thing to use the steamer basket for is like making mashed potatoes, but all you have to do is add your veggies into the steamer basket it along with the amount of water that you need for the instant pot. I like to add a cup in, close your steamer basket, put the lid on top, and then set your veggies to cook. I normally do it for just about one minute for frozen veggies. Then once the timer goes off, I always do a quick release for these frozen vegetables so they don't get mushy. And then there you go, you have the easiest way to steam your veggies. Next we have my pineapple core and I don't know about you but I feel like it takes me forever and it is so difficult to cut up a pineapple normally. Of course this pineapple core is not necessary in the kitchen. I haven't had mine super long but it is fun to use and all you have to do is cut the top off of the pineapple and twirl this thing around the pineapple until all of it comes out. It also comes with this funny shaped pineapple cutter that goes over the top of the pineapple after you take it out of the pineapple and it kind of cuts it into perfectly bite-sized pieces just like this. Now we have my liquid measuring cup set and I cannot tell you how many different liquid measuring cups I have been through in my day. My biggest issue with the super cheap liquid measuring cups is the labels always end up peeling off. So then you're left not really knowing how much you are measuring out because the labels come off. So that's why these ones are really nice because the labels never come off. It is always there as you see here and it comes in the different sizes. So it comes in a one cup, a two cup, and then the four cup, which is a little bit larger. So the measurements are just perfectly accurate. And then I do have this bigger glass one that goes up to eight cups, which is really nice if you need to measure out a lot of something like broth. Now we have my favorite regular measuring cup set and I found that I had the same issue as I did with the liquid measuring cups with the measurements peeling off. So this is why I really like these specific ones. These are a KitchenAid brand and they do have the measurement labels ingrained so they will never ever come off. They are also super high quality I found so this is why they are my favorite. So I bought the lavender color measuring cups which are really beautiful and then I bought these teaspoon tablespoons and then another measuring cup set. This is just a turquoise color. They are really nice looking and they do have different colors as well. Now we have this apple slicer and this is a 
thinner apple slicer so it isn't like a regular apple slicer. I like this one a little bit better just because my daughter Brinley likes thin apple slices because she is only three years old. So you just put it over the top of the apple, press it down, and then the gray part in the back goes on the bottom of the apple and it helps push the apple through. This is really nice just because none of that apple really goes to waste and you have beautiful, perfect slices of apple to enjoy. Now we have this cheese grater slash veggie grater and I have gone through so many different cheese graters because you know I love cheese and this one has been my favorite. I have had it for years and years. It has a clear plastic bin on the inside so it catches all of the cheese that you're shredding. So none of that cheese goes to waste and it also makes it a lot easier for you to clean the cheese grater itself. Now for my daily pots and pans. These are my pots and pans. I've been using them for about a year and a half now. I really like them. I like the colors. Pink and gold are my favorite colors and they were actually my wedding colors, believe it or not. But these pots and pans are non-stick, which is really nice. And I don't put them in the dishwasher and I don't use anything metal on them to scrape them. I have found that some of the pots and pans have chipped over time. Now for my slow cookers, I have a couple of slow cookers that I do use really frequently. First being this super large one. I use this large one for larger meals, of course. I like how it has a timer on it so you could set it to the amount of time that you need something to cook for and you could leave so nothing will get overcooked, which is really, really nice just because everybody's had dry things in the slow cooker. So this cooks it to the time exact. And then I have this smaller, slow cooker which does the same thing. It has the timer on it so your meals will always come out on time. I know there's a lot of different veggie choppers out there. Some of them are super fancy that come with a bunch of different gadgets and different sizes to chop your onions, but I really like this simple one. It just comes with the standard size to chop your onion, so you don't have to worry about all the different gadgets, which is really nice. I've had my onion chopper for about five or six years now, and this one is just really simple and easy to use. I've always wanted a cordless vacuum, so recently I got myself this cordless vacuum, and let me tell you, it is so amazing to use for around the kitchen or around your house. You could even use it in your car for little messes, and it picks up everything, and I love how lightweight it is. It really is magical. I have plenty more videos like this on my channel, so make sure you subscribe down below the video so you don't miss any more in the future. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.